Hello folks. Uh, Chibi Holic has challenged me or done whatever to do my favorite tool video. Well, I have several. Of course, a welder he already mentioned, so I can't mention it. I've got an old rebuilt, no-name uh, solder core welder, and uh, it works great. $65, Harbor Freight. You know, two bad words there. But uh, use it and throw it away. So far, I've burned about uh, four reels through it. It works good on these little thin Crosleys. I've got a couple stick welders, but they eat, excuse me, they eat right through this thin stuff. It's less than 18 gauge, I think they built these things out of. Uh, so, I have several favorite uh, tools here, but it's, it's really hard to pick. I don't have as many tools as a lot. I don't have as many tools as a lot of people, but I have had in the past. And then, oh, shucks. Okay. Hello. Okay, I'm back. Uh, uh, I left a lot of my tools at my back at my old job whenever I got uh, ruined when my health left me. A, a lot of my health left me anyway. Uh, good Lord's blessed me with just enough to uh, get by and do a few things, but not enough to uh, keep up my rigid schedule at the state of Arkansas. At least that's what they thought too. And uh, of course falling off a building didn't help. And uh, all these years of uh, abusing my back and getting uh, racing cars, being upside down and on fire several times, running, uh, flying a Kawasaki into a tree once and then over a bluff once and then I jumped a car across the canal and two or three other little deals have messed up my back and my spine and I'm happy as hog's liver though to be doing what I do which is not not much. Anyway, uh, I've got several tools here and uh, left a bunch of them at the state so that they can you know use them there because at the time I had to quit I was mad at tools because I figured tools is what got me all broke up and ruined come to find out it was the way I used them and how long I used them and how I abused myself working wait a minute okay sorry let's try this again get back on the favorite tools uh, I've made a few broke a few uh, had a bunch of nice tools. Wait a minute. Had a bunch of nice tools before we had a house fire. And uh, uh, they're gone, which is just stuff. So, uh, my favorite, my favorite, my favorite tool will have to be a. Uh, favorite tool would be something that would save me a lot of trouble and uh, a lot of labor since you know I have a lot of trouble anymore getting around especially getting up my knees and legs don't straighten out anymore so I have to kind of crawl back up but anything to keep me from having to uh, jack a car up or sliding under it and set some stuff and stuff well, that would be my my favorite tool at the moment. I guess it probably changes with with me. It probably changes with the job I'm doing. I love my hammers. My hammers are great. I have lots of hammers, and I offer little different different things. And uh, you can fix a lot of things with the correct correct size hammer and the correct direction and and uh, uh, velocity of your blow. Uh, 
Not many carburetors are fixed with hammers, but a few, especially when the float's ticking. Hang on here and I'll try and give you a better look at this apparatus. This is my friend's say. I wonder if I can just undo this. I got you taped to a paint outfit. So I'm, hang on. Ooh, look at that tape stain. Sorry. Sorry. But here's my tripod of the evening. Oh. Tripod of the evening. There you go. Uh, gee. Whiz. Who zoomed this in? I bet you got lots of good pictures of my nostrils. Okay, let's see if I can do this. It's already locked. You'd think a guy that is pr prone to fall down a lot would not be on top of a of a thing. Ooh, don't look down. Woo! It's like feet down there. Okay, here we go. Enough of the noise. Let me see where the noise is. I'm always a graceful person. Ugh. Okay. I don't know what this thing's doing. Anyway, there is my favorite tool. Favorite tool, yay! Okay. This this uh, gray thing here in the corner looks like a preacher's podium, but it actually is a good a good design that I built to uh, hide and put my uh, car books, my manuals and my other stuff. And you just put them in there and you get them out on that top there and uh, you go through them and read and figure out what you're doing or right now it's got a bunch of old comic books on it. I wonder why. Uh, quickly moving. Uh, my chop saw is a lot of fun. And there's my cheesy welder and more of my cutting stuff for my my metal stuff. Gotta have a bench grinder. Of course I put stuff on stobs so they're portable. And my buffing thing for my my uh stainless that I work once in a while on these cars. Okay, uh tire changer. Not my favorite. Pile of hammers. Hammers that uh, handles are still smoking. I've been using them. Uh, here's something everybody needs. They need a vise on a stob, a portable vise. That way they can move it outside. They can move it around where they're working. They can beat on stuff. And uh, you know, just handy as a pocket on a on a shirt. Okay, I think that's that's about it. Okay, I'm gonna do a do a uh, challenge for uh, their favorite tool. I want to see uh, Dead Eye Dan's favorite uh, tool. And uh, probably R. Peak. If R. Peak is listening here, he's probably under the basement still. But uh, if he's got a favorite tool, I would sure like to see it. And uh, that would be pretty funny. He uses everything. Okay, uh, this is Cutworm signing off. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs>